Office for the iPad is here at last, uh, comprising Word, Excel and PowerPoint for iOS. Um, let's start by taking a look at Word. Um, Word can automatically pick up any of the documents stored in your OneDrive, or you can start a new document from a template. Um, once that's open, you can naturally highlight and edit and format text. You can also insert and format images, although one annoying limitation is that you can't just go out onto the internet and find a picture to insert. It's got to be something which is already on your iPad. There's also a, a pretty good, considering, range of layout and review options, including track changes, which is probably going to be useful for, for businesses passing uh, documents back and forth. Um, and there's a small but useful selection of view options as well. Once you're done, you can simply give your document a new name and uh, save it back up to your OneDrive. Um, I'm not personally sure that you're going to want to use Word um, for writing long documents typing onto a, a touchscreen keyboard, but the ability to open and edit um, documents from, from your PC or that you may be sent by your office non-destructively is certainly very welcome. Um, the next app to look at is Excel, which once again ties into your OneDrive documents. And there's also a range of templates if you want to start from scratch. As you can see, uh, advanced features such as, in this case, spark lines down the right hand side are supported. That doesn't mean that you can create and edit them, but it means that you can see them and they won't be lost when you save the document out. We can drag to select some data. We can insert a chart. We can play around with its layout and its appearance. And if we look along the tabs along the top, you'll find there's a good selection of formulae on offer. Uh, you can change the view and your reviewing options to just kind of find your way around. One of the um, only frustrations, in fact, is um, that when you try to zoom out as far as you can, the screen springs back in for some reason. So you can't always get an overview of a very large spreadsheet. Apart from that, though, it's very powerful. Lastly, we come to PowerPoint, which is perhaps the most natural fit for the iPad. It's, uh, it's ideally suited to a situation where you might go to a meeting or just want to pass a presentation around to show other people what you've been working on. Having said that, there's nothing stopping you from creating your own presentation from scratch. There's a good selection of templates to choose from, which look nice, have good fonts and color schemes associated. Um, again, as you'd expect, you can, you can create slides in a variety of formats. You can add images, uh, you can apply transitions, and when you want to show your presentation or simply preview it to make sure it looks right, you can do all of that on the iPad itself. So there's actually no need in this case to, to have a laptop or a desktop at all. You can do everything you need in PowerPoint. PowerPoint for the iPad. It all adds up to a, an office suite that's surprisingly capable and usable. In fact, the only catch really is nothing to do with what it can or can't do. It's the price. The apps themselves are free to download, but you can only view documents unless you sign up for an Office 365 subscription. So if you just wanted to keep Word or Excel on your iPad for occasional use, it could work out to be very expensive. Click to subscribe to our YouTube channel and come back every Wednesday for new hot hardware videos.